Hello, and a warm welcome from me and our Chaudhary. I'm a few minutes late with today's live, and uh, well, we wanted to discuss once more a little bit about Indian football. And if I look at the situation in Indian football, I ask the question, is today's Indian e about chaos? And that's a scary part for me. I think that we are talking once more about these kind of things rather than we're talking about the nice things that there are in football. And um, yeah, for me, that is something which I feel is very, very important. Um, but again, uh, we, are, we are in this difficult scenario, I would say, where Indian football is. And uh, the question also that, that, that today I would like to ask is... Um, I put out a tweet yesterday where it seems to be more about PR than anything else for certain people. And are these stories literally being planted? You know, another point that I would like to make today and I would love to discuss with you because I think if one is honest um, and looking at the scenario and looking at what all is out in uh, I'd say that most probably most of the information, uh, most of the things, uh, we don't know everything that's happening. So, so therefore, that's the question for me: is where, where are we? Where do we need to go? Where do we want to go with Indian football? You know, join the conversation here. Um, leave me your comments in the in the chat, and I'll, I'll surely highlight them. And, and and if you have questions, do ask them because. Um, it's, uh, it's slowly becoming disturbing, I have to say, um, you know, that, that what is coming out. Um, no, sorry, uh, life today is not on, uh, Mayank, sadly, um, because not everyone is available. So therefore, um, we're not doing our usual life. Hopefully, we'll be back tomorrow um, because day after, of course, the ISL also starts. But before the ISL starts, we're still looking into what all is happening uh, football and it's it's you know it's it's uh, yeah it's it's crazy to think about what all is is, is taking place at the moment and uh, what all is um, being discussed being looked at and uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's it's easy scenario and uh, it's 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 you know I even also hello from my side. Um, what all is happening and what all is sort of taking place, um, you know, in, in, in this whole scenario, in this, in this, in this current reality, um, you know, and, and to me, it's, it's, I'm not surprised anymore yeah, that uh, things are coming out the way they're coming out. And still, I think most of the stuff that could come out most probably is still buried somewhere or some journalists will pick it up at some stage and then report about it. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's it. That is, is what Indian football at the moment is. And that's the sort of part where we stand at the moment with Indian football is do we, you know, do we try and speak about the problems and the issues? Do we maybe term them different and say, call them challenges? Do we have the right to take Indian football forward to, to do the things that are needed for Indian football to to really grow. That's my that's my biggest concern. Uh, uh, and um, you know, and uh, I am saying right now, AFF is just like Roman Empire, chaotic and turbulent. Um, a lot of the things that are happening are not happening since yesterday. You know, um, so therefore, the timing. I think can be questioned or should be questioned. Let's put it this way. Why certain things are coming out now that that should be. And I have also said, you know, it's, you know, the question that you all should be asking is why are certain people still supporting certain standpoints? Why are certain people coming out with statements? You know, I saw Bablu does, as, as he always does and always says, is, you know, ah, you know, it was better under PK Banerjee and all these guys and blah, 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 blah. No, it's not. Um, it's, 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 it's a, for me, it's a disturbing scenario. And to me, it's the question arises, um, 
where do we want to go at the, in the long term with Indian football? Where do we end up with Indian? Because this is, these are all issues um, that I feel um, that need to be looked at, right? So, so for us, um, the most challenging thing, in my opinion, is how do we ensure what's happening at the moment that Indian football can grow? To me, that is the most important thing of all things. Indian football needs to be, you know, with all things happening, uh, um, Indian football needs to needs to go ahead. And uh, um, you know, for me, um, with with all the problems, we need to need to be able to 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 grow the game still. With all again, with everything that's happening, uh, 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 um, and, you know, and that's for me very very important. Uh, um, um, where where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, uh, and and where where do we end up at the end of the day? Where where does Indian football end up? Are we able to grow the game? Because that's at the moment for me the most important thing. Um, for me, the most important thing is that are we able to grow um, the game to 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 where we want to go? Where do we want to go? You know, for me, that's, I think, a very, very important point that we need to be able to grow the game in such a way um, that the game is, is, is uh, that we understand what is, what all is happening around us um, is, is, is insane to some extent. Things forgotten because people are, a lot of people are thinking only about themselves, are thinking um, about their own future, per se, about uh, what is right for them, but not thinking at the overall picture because a lot of people are uh, here, there, everywhere. It's, it's and, and I've heard some people tell me personally, said, listen, uh, it's not my fault. It's, it's it's not my problem. You know, this is this is something of the AFF. This is something of uh, FSL, or this is something of the I League. This is something of those people, these people, and I feel we all stakeholders need to come in again as always. Like, share, and subscribe, um, and, and and let me know. Have your thoughts, and and to me is um, why why I mean again to you guys who are listening. Are you surprised in what you are hearing? What what is coming out on nearly a daily basis? Um, certain stories that were too old now are being now are coming out, or certain stuff which has go, been going on for a while. And the other question to me is also is are the heroes that have been built in Indian football, are they really the heroes or are they the villains? And that's, that's to me, that's, to me is also, an, I, because the, the situation as it stands at the moment is that Indian football needs to find its way. You know, we need leadership at the top. We need people to take charge of things because otherwise Indian football cannot grow. And that's my biggest fear at the end of the day because Indian football, the potential is still there with all the problems that we've been speaking issues, all the challenges that are there. To me, um, still, Indian football has the potential to grow, at least compete at a better level in Asia. If not at the world level, I'm not going to go to the world level, I'm not going to go to the World Cup, because that is still, you know, 15, 20 years away. But for that 15, 20 years, we now need to take the corrective steps to ensure that at grassroots level, at youth level, across Indian football, the things are happening, are being done so that we can do what is needed for Indian football in the mid to long term to succeed. That's my, if you ask me, that would be my wish. But at the moment, it's about a lot of people about me, about my group of people or my organization, my club, and it's not us. I miss the us factor in Indian football at the moment. That we don't have the situation that people come together and try and do the right things for Indian football. What is right for, not only for the short term, but also for the long term. And that is, that was, and that is my biggest concern about Indian. We are, we are getting lost in all these, you know, personal battles, issues of people, um, that these things are not happening, and and to me that's a that, that's a very yeah disturbing is even a nice word to say 
it's it's a very 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 problematic situation that we find ourselves in. The solutions to these problems, to these issues. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere in Indian football. Indian football is um, once more, I have to say, at the crossroads, and and the whole Ecosystema Saga is is a, is a good example of how. Uh, 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 um, uh, how how things should not be handled, and not since yesterday. For a while, I said that yesterday. And uh, Igor Steeman, hi, good evening. Um, news coming out slowly. Yeah, but again, are they are they coming out slowly, or are people, you know, on purpose? Are people trying to be destabilizing? Who is putting out the news? Because even sorry, the media, the journalists who are part of these, who are bringing out the stuff. I I would I would like to know what is their motive. That's my that's my disturbing fact that, that that everybody here seems to have something in the game, uh, uh, um, you know. So so to me uh, um, to, to me it's it's very very clear. Uh, um, uh, to me that's a very 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 thing is 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 again um, you know. Um, Vishnu, of course, you, you're mentioning a few names. I'm not going to go into the names uh, because um, I wasn't there. I. Again, everything is, is, is somewhat of a speculations, uh, uh, um, and and it's it's you know no tactical training, but too much uh, senior divide in team. Um, it's it's not even um, a senior junior divide sometimes, right? So there is there is a core element and and i know certain people have tried to justify what's happening it's not justifiable and the question is how are we going to going to change that um so we'll say the solution we need proper air for people who can manage and organize football in india i think shumala uh, removing the coach is one of the points that we need to talk about and discuss the coach at the moment to me is not part of the solution you know uh, um, so, so to me, uh, that's uh, that's that's the situation, right? So, um, you know, um, let's see, let's see. Um, you go, too much naming four people again. That's your opinion. Um, I go to uh, you go, too much as air for fish. We cannot sack too much as we have to pay hefty comp. You will be there to do shambolic. Um, I I don't agree to that because I think there are means and ways of getting out of a contract. And um, even even as the situation stands, I think the FF is in a position. This is just being, this is the easy road. And people in the FF are taking the easy road out by saying, you know what, oh, well, you know, it would be too costly to, to, to sack too much. So therefore, sorry, we, we can't do it. We cannot do it. And, um, you know, and that's something uh, which is which is very worrying. Um, Igor Stimar says, I hope we lost to Kuwait and Qatar. Please don't go to round three. You know what? I, I'm feeling you, bro, brother. I, 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 I feel that. I, is as sad as it is on one side, but I think if we want change, that's the only way because theoretically his contract gets extended if he qualifies for round three. That's, that's, that's a reality at the moment. So therefore, uh, for me... Uh, that we need to, you know, um, and with, with those divisions, with things coming out, with what's happening, um, yeah, it's a very, 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 very disturbing, uh, I would even say dystopian situation around the team. And uh, uh, um, so, so therefore, for me, it's... it's it... uh, Vishnu is saying, dismiss team and watch cricket. Well, I wouldn't do that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a cricket person, so I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, dismiss the team, do something else, but but don't 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 watch cricket. Stay with football. Uh, and I was sir, tell me one thing that Stimach has improved in five years. Um, the PR, Igor Stimach, I would say the PR around himself uh, for a certain period of time, which has not worked. But otherwise, um, yeah, five wasted years in the end. I have to say it might sound brutal, might sound harsh, but if I look at it, um, the start was good in 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 2019. But after that, it's been you know. Even the high, I, I felt, and I sadly, I, I, I have to say I've been right, um, fake hopes. You know, we've been given fake hopes that things will improve and, uh, you know, 
uh, so therefore um, that's a reality and that's a disappointing fact right with you know i thought when he came in i think he could change uh, 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 but but i don't know what happened again i said covid changed a lot of things and and, and uh, towards the end of 2019 things started to go downhill and I, i've never I, i think it's never recovered and that's the you know that's the that's the reality um you see me i saw kuwait versus qatar match the quality was top kuwait missed two open chances otherwise kuwait would have won and our chances should be over in match only well that's the that's the thing right um, I, i thought i mean i saw kuwait in in july in the saf final i i thought they were technically better than us and and that's a that's a that's a reality and uh, um kuwait if kuwait's finishing was better yeah kuwait could have uh, uh, kuwait would have done uh, yeah much much better and, and Uh, Sharat is saying, yeah, but Ronaldo, what is that the FF is getting by backing Steamer despite the public pressure? Um, is my my I I would ask you all who are listening at the moment. Um, do you care about the public pressure? Simple question from my side. Might be rude towards the fans, but do you think that the public pressure is something that these people care about? I mean we've still had uh um no comment from anyone as far as I know correct me if I'm wrong I haven't seen any comment from anyone um excusing the performances against Afghanistan nothing um so therefore yeah that's 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 the reality at at the moment uh see what has never taken responsibility that's i think his biggest weakness in my opinion i think if you i'm fine if you are not listen this is not the best team in the world you are not the perfect coach you know um, even the perfect coach most probably wouldn't get this team to get to to go to a world cup but you know i a little bit of honesty i would be fine all of them said listen you know what we were bad we lost on afghanistan we are excuse ourselves we're sorry we're trying to do it next time better um Yeah, that's 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 you know, you know. Let's see. Shumala says, "I remember you said you were in Guwahati. One of my GD with Sunil sir and other Afghan Indian players, along with coach. I was in same hotel. I touched Sunil sir's feet and I cried and hugged him. Well, uh, good for you. Maybe after what's come out today, I don't know if you feel feel the same still. You know, that's that's nothing. Um." Jagger says there are quota of some players. Seems like, and and that's the that's the situation. Uh, Steamer has internal relations with top FF officials. That's why they are not sacking him. No, see, and that's there. There you're wrong because the person who extended his contract is no longer with the FF, and he doesn't have a good relationship with. Uh, 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 um, with the president. I think the president and 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 the coach, you know, someone asked. I don't know. You know, ask both sides if they're on talking terms. It didn't look like to me, um, as far as I know. And uh, you know, that's that's the. Just only hope OCI players help waiting for PMO. Um, again, um, this PMO, earlier PMOs, they've all not done anything so far. So as long as nothing happens, I am. not getting carried away on this oci situation uh, you know um that's the that's the thing that i will i will only believe it when when the legislation or when amendments to the legislations are passed to allow players of origin to represent india i think that's that's on them and and that's it and ego steam much uh um, that is another fake promise no that i can tell you i am in touch with some of these boys they uh 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 uh, uh, uh you know uh, i know that the boys want to play numerous boys want to play for india and it's forget the situation i mean i remember michael chopra wanted to play for india after india had lost
Um, can you can you hear me again, guys? If you could let me know, if you could hear me speak. Ah, yes, thank you. Sorry, um, seems to be some connection problems. Um, sorry for that. Um, happens once in a while. Um, so therefore, I go. Sorry, I go back still to the OCI, OCI players. Um, just too much. I know from 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 numerous players that they are willing to play for India, wanting to play for India. And uh, to me, certainly, um, it is a fact that players want to play for our country, the OCIs, and they're ready to come. If you give them the opportunity, some of them would come tomorrow. So, so that's the reality. So therefore, it's not a fake promise. It's just that the AFF on its side needs to fulfill its promises. We've seen that now with issues uh, with Pakistan, uh, just seen it with Syria, Moda Hood decided to, to, to leave Germany and, and, and switch to Syria. Syria didn't keep up certain requirements, demands of, of Modahut, and that's why he's left them. So therefore, the AFF needs to do, then do its homework, which they have not done, you know, at least this dispensation. Uh, why AFF can't show this concrete on football popular states? As, sorry, why can't people concentrate on football popular states and develop some talent? Well, uh, Vishnu, I think the AFF uh, uh, um, did certain things, you know. I think if we look at the, um, the Arrows project, in the past, again, yes, there have been financial irregularities, but but the project has brought us a lot of players. You know, in the first stint under under Control, um, and then later on, uh, uh, you know, and that's that's the that's the reality. Uh, um, let's see, let's see, let's see uh, what they can do. But again, at the moment, the AIFF needs to take care of itself. The AIFF is in a situation where where the AFF cannot really concentrate on anything. And the point is you have to, the other problem of the AFF is, I cannot say, listen, I, I take care of Bengal, I take care of Goa, I take care of Kerala, and I take care of a few northeastern states. Bang, let's do this. No, the AFF has to take care of all states because all states are similar stakeholders in the AFF. So these are some of the issues I think that they have. So therefore, let's see uh, what happens down the road. Um, but for instance, I don't communicate with coach that uh, uh, technical committee steam much has done Kala Jadu on technical committee again to me if if whoever is the president of the AFF has always the right to talk and question anything in Indian football that's his role he should be questioning anything in Indian football if it's right or wrong if something is wrong he should question the, any national team coach he should question the ISL, he should question his departments in the AFF, you know, either internally or ex sometimes externally. I think he should have questioned too much externally. I, I think that would, to me, that would have been the best thing that he could have done. So um, to me, that is, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, to me, to me, that's the thing. Um, um, Shad says, I take your point regarding AFF turning a blind eye towards the public outrage. Still, why is Igor continuing as the coach? Like you said, he's not on good terms with the top brass of the Federation. I think for the Federation, Igor is a good distraction from their own shortcomings and their own problems. And, and to me, um, the AFF themselves are not in a stable state if you see what's been happening, especially over the last six, seven, eight months. That is, I think, my biggest concern. Uh, uh, um, so for me... Um, it, I, I, you know, uh, 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 um, I, I, again, that's my, I don't have a logic to this. Again, that's the problem. Like you guys, I don't have a logic to this because to me, this coach has, should have been gone two, three years ago. Period. I said it. Watch old videos. I said it. And I stick to it. Again, because there's no development. He's been talking about stuff that he's never delivered. Never. Ever. That's my biggest problem with our head coach. Uh, OCI players is not the solution. Obinavo, I think OCI players can be. And and uh, Imanchu says OCI players are like short run treatment of a disease system, but we should focus on long term changes. I don't see them coming because we cannot change rules here so easily. Um, I I think, and I've said this the first time in two thousand one when I first went to the AFF with with the whole topic of players of origin uh, playing for India. My I have a German passport, so my then person of Indian origin card went to FIFA in 
2006, and that was cleared. So that was possible. Uh, 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 you know, but the but the point here is, I think it's not even a short term; it's a long term solution because it it forces if players, Indian players playing in Indian leagues want to be able to compete with players who are born and brought up abroad. And we saw that against Afghanistan. Um, you know? Are technically better. So for me, that's a, that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. And um, therefore, I, I uh, um, you know, that's the thing. Creator says, if we played against Pakistan, and then we'll also beat us. Um, could, could, could be, could be, could be, could be, could be, could be. Riga says, I do not understand this funda with ego. We learn from mistakes. Yeah. Um, and and you add, uh, lol, how come teams like Tajikistan, Thailand, etc. do well and still learn? Is ego some handicapped breed of coach who cannot learn from winning? Um, I, I think, to me, um, his coaching is limited. You know? I don't think he, he is in a position to be able to give us what we need. To understand what we need. I think that's the biggest problem with this coach at the moment. I feel, again, I might be wrong. Is it true, uh, Trambak says, that AFF unable to sex too much as they do not have the budget to compensate too much? I don't think so. I think that is being another reason given to get out of this whole discussion in regard to the coach. To me, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Akash says, hello, sir. Hello from my side as well, Akash. Uh, Shumula says we had lots of Indian fans from every part of the country that day and the atmosphere till 1-1 was outstanding and even after that we're doing the support every time and traveling to every state well Shumula that's the great thing right um, that's the that's the that's the lovely thing not only you but the others who went to Guwahati to support the Indian team um, it's a brilliant thing and it should be that way you know and, and one thing I've said and I'll repeat again I also found it you know great that the Indian fans at the stadium after the game um, you know saluted the Afghan players because they deserved it. You know, even I, I sent my message to, to, to Amiri congratulating him on the win. So therefore, it is uh, they deserved it and, you know, we have to blame ourselves um, on that thing. Uh, anyone know who are technical committee members except I'm Vijayan, AFF removed details of technical committee from website when new regime came. I know, if I'm not wrong, Shabir Ali, the former Indian international and coach, he's also part of it. And then I am blank at the moment. I don't remember, you know, it's, who else is part of it. I have to, have to just think. I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not remember. Let me, let me think. Maybe, I, maybe I'll have it a little later. Driga says, why do they even need a meeting to sack Seema? Just sack him on the call. There's nothing to discuss anymore. Yeah, that's the, that is, that would be the easiest, right? Even the president has the authority to sack the coach, you know, so. Use your authority. Do something. You know, let's see. Kita says, I think the problem is the result of poor coaching and youth level coaches not paid enough money in youth level. Um, poor coaching, yes, at youth is, is the biggest problem. Not enough money. I wouldn't say so. In most countries, coaches at youth level are part-time. Are not even for, they have a job. Huh? Uh, and then they and then they coach. So for me to say that uh, I'm not getting enough money, that's why I can't coach the kids properly, doesn't work. You know. Anand Murmu says, I think top of pyramid is in turmoil. Bottom of the pyramid, uh, grassroots district is clueless on what to do. I think that's the that's the problem. I think we have a knowledge problem within the Indian system. I think we've got a, I think we've got two big problems which which showcases itself over the last few months. I think uh, 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 we have a leadership problem, but I can only be a leader either if I'm a leader if I'm a natural leader. But on the other side, idea would be a leader with knowledge. That's my that's my biggest problem in this current scenario. That we have a a problem that. Where is the knowledge? What what are we doing to educate ourselves? You know, um, yeah, that's the reality. Drake says, bring as many players as you want, but with Steamer, nothing is going to change. I guarantee this, and I repeat, he has no lack of good players. All they need is a good coach. Um, on the Steamer part, I'd agree with you, Drake. 
But my my thing is the current set of players you have, and even if you bring a whole new set of players, we have a problem with the basics. That is my biggest, 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 biggest concern. That our basics are not good enough to be able to go out there and play football. We are working football. We are trying to work football. Difficult in today's world. That is my. That's my. That's my biggest concern. Indian football may Carlos, kaisa hoga kuch. Um, things need to change. The question is, who will bring that change? I think that's the biggest challenge that Indian football faces. You know, we need change. You know, at the top, at the bottom, uh, things need to happen. And to me, is very, very clear. We need leadership. You know, and that's something that is there. Uh, Ego too much post match interval. After every mistake, we learn. You should normally you should learn from every mistake. But I feel even if the players learn from their mistakes, uh, um, that but we're not understanding of how to rectify the mistakes sometimes. If that makes sense, you know, um, it is very easy to watch a game in the stands or watch the game on television and say, you know, do this, do that, do this, blah, 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 blah. So, so therefore, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it is. Um, Indian football team needs to learn from Thailand how they drew against mighty Saudi, Oman and Asian Cup and draw against South Korean FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, but Thailand has a strong league. We don't still have a strong league system. You know, if you look at the ISL, you have five teams, let's say four and a half teams who are really good. And the rest is just trying to fight for that six spot, and they don't. All of them don't deserve it. Let's be honest. That's a problem. We have a quality problem with our Indian players. We have a huge, huge quality problem with our players. That needs to be addressed. But that needs to be addressed at grassroots level. It cannot be addressed in the ISL. It's too late. I cannot teach a player certain things which you should know naturally. You know, if I if I get a ball. Play it back, turn around, run, get the ball. That needs to happen naturally. Like, you know, take the ball, play a first time pass, turn around, and go the other way. If you can't do it, you will not learn it at that age. And again, we have an age fraud problem. You know, some of our players are not as young as they they supposedly. That's another issue. Uh, Sharhat says, "How does uh, how is that the other countries ensure the quality of coaching, especially at the grassroots level, apart from licensing?" Um, if you say if you if you take for example I, I hear this from my my brother-in-law he's, he's from he used to live in Kolkata involved in the five side scene he's now moved to the US and he's impressed with the with the system of uh, um, coaching and he's even himself now coaching right and and he's learning and he says listen you're given opportunities but you have to learn you have to do this you have to do that you have to upgrade yourself all the time in India a lot of coaches do the do these courses to get a job. Are they really doing it to, to do something in football or is it about money earning? I understand that money earning has to be there. But for us, um, it's, it's a problem. Uh, Trumbok saying, who do you think is the best person to coach his team? Difficult to say. Um, I said yesterday, I, I feel that an experienced foreign coach like a Carlos Kirosh would be good. I, I know that that is a kind of coach that who we most probably can't pay at the moment. But an experienced coach with a, a pragmatic approach uh, who has shown in Asia that with a pragmatic approach, um, yeah, that that is that is most probably what I would would like to see. Koshik Mukherjee's question. Hi, Ronaldo. My question is: You have seen Indian football players from very closely. Do you think there is any players lobby which allows inappropriate players to stay in the national team system? Um, yeah, it sometimes does happen, and it's currently most probably happening. Again, I'm not that close to the system that I can say I can I can I can point fingers and say yes this is certainly happening. I've I like everybody else who, who works in the system has been hearing this not only for the last few weeks but for quite a number of years. Um you know so 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 therefore Dipan at some unknown sources said that there's a group of senior players and this coach I don't know if it's true or not but it showcased in both the games against Afghanistan. There there there, there certainly is an issue in the team. I mean that is something which I am hundred percent sure about um, even Gora Mangi has had in, in interviews that he's mentioned, he's mentioned there must be a problem in the team because the team is not as bad as they're playing. That to me is very, very evident that there is something or the other wrong in there 
Otherwise, this team doesn't play as bad as it is playing at the moment. Trombok is saying, is it true that there is a back, uh, back between our coach and senior players and other players are not allowed to speak? Um, I don't know if I, 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 I you know, uh, uh, um, yeah. Um, Shomala says, I congratulated uh, Sefi Nazari and Omid Popaljai. They offered me next Afghan home match tickets after the match and it shows how humble and down to earth Afghan players are and Sharif is in the Yeah, they're great guys. They're great guys. Uh, is there any shame left in AF if the team will be sacked right now? Again, it's not happening. To me, I don't see it happening. I would like to see it happen. Uh, 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 you know, so therefore for me, um, you know, uh, that's, that's something... That is that is something there. Akash says, "Sir, me bolra who high-profile coach ana chahiye origin player ko." Yeah, we need. I think we need a high-profile coach with a realistic approach, and the origin players. But origin players, uh, uh, you know, um, and that's you know that's it. Dark Knight asking, uh, "Sir, how Thailand sustained their league? Well, the Thais um, have had their leagues around now for." Donkey's ears. Um, they have they have a settled Southeast Asia has an insane fan culture. You know, this is what I someone told me recently that uh, um, you know that uh, um, the fan culture is even crazier than what you would think. For example, around the Kolkata Derby, and uh, uh, you know, for me, um, is is I would love to watch matches in Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia. You know, uh, some of the big clubs because, and of course, it's it's a grown system. We still haven't a grown system because cricket is so big; it doesn't allow other sports to really grow. For and, and Indian football is in this vicious cycle as any other sports league in India is. Our Afghanistan don't have football league. Our uh, consists of amateur league players. Well, um, not all are amateurs. A lot of them have played pro football. But you know what? Even these amateur players, their basics are right. So that for me is, I think, the big difference between us and Afghanistan, that the Afghan players, their basics are right. And that, that's the huge difference um, yeah, that between us and them. And a few of them are part of football. So almost drive for football. So India can't defeat them. Our team selection is not based on performance. Even if, if, you, if you could call up other players, let's say you call up other players. Do we have the players who are much, much better than what we are? We are, we are this. We don't have. Call up five other different players and I want to see if this team is going to play better. That's our problem. Taliban control Afghanistan, no respect, but Indian players have next level ego. Creators saying, well, the Afghanistan FA is mainly operating abroad, not even in Afghanistan, right? So therefore, the Taliban has, if I understand it, uh, little to no impact on that. Again, they, the origin players, and it's not since yesterday. It's been there for, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, the 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 point here to me is is that they want to play for their country. I have sometimes the feeling now that certain players don't just just going through the motions for to play for India because it helps them and their career. But there's no will there. That that is my biggest concern that this Indian team doesn't show me the desire, the passion, the fire to fight for this India jersey, to fight for the badge, to fight for the fans who are in the stand. That is my biggest concern. Biggest, biggest, biggest concern. Ovinava says, we have enormous amount of talents, but we're not focusing, working, grooming on the right track. Yeah, we have talent, we surely have. But if you don't do the right things at the right age, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Uh, Creator says, Manvir was in disaster. Yes, but Manvir, a week earlier or two weeks earlier in the ISL, was one of the best Indian footballers. So try and explain me that, that Manvir Singh in the ISL, especially against the Blasters or even in Derby against East Bengal, was a top player. Top player. But the same guy puts an India shirt on and looks like if he, as if he's never played football. That's, that's our problem, guys. That, to me, is a real problem at the moment. Deepak Das says, Harry did a sensation live today. I was more way, way back yet to see it. Great to hear that he did a good, uh, you know, um, good to hear that the, my little brother is doing good. Uh, Deepak Das says, but I'm heartbroken because I'm, I admired Chetri in the last five years. Well, you know, sometimes the reality is a little harsh on us, isn't it? Uh, Vietnam football is also very, very down and they're also struggling from 2023. Yeah, because... Um, 
they have not figured out the right mix between national team and club football. They've done a lot of things right and they've done a lot of things wrong. You know, I would have said a decade back, five years back, they were doing a lot of things right. But at the moment, I feel that they're not, not doing everything wrong. Uh, they're not doing, they've done a lot of things wrong in the, the recent past. And that's, it's, you know, yeah. So that's why it's a problem. Indian attack is bollocks, but do you think defence uh, will still be able to keep up with Kuwait and Qatar? Defence did well against Australia and Syria inside. Did we really do good against Australia and Syria? My, or even against Uzbekistan? Or is it? My simple question would be then, my feeling was that we were lucky that the finishing of these teams is not good. My feeling, again, I might be wrong, but my clear-cut feeling was the finishing of these teams wasn't good. That's why we got away. Very simply said. That's the problem. The pants is also I've seen the new players that are coming up have really good basics, but I don't know if they are consistent on it. Again, if I have good basics, that's a start. Consistency is another different discussion in Indian football. You will rarely have a footballer, even at national team level or at club level, who will give you a whole season of good football. Forget two, three, four, five years of good football. Another problem, another huge problem. Consistency has not been, you know, uh, uh, you know, and, and other things. Imran Khan and other young players deserve to start for national team, but our team selections depending on scenario to other factors. Uh, Driga, I don't think Imran Khan deserves to start because I'd like to see him. And, and therefore, my Naurem for me is also a bit of a problem because these guys have to prove physically that they can cope with Asian level football. I go back to Changte. I think Changte, five, six years, was very good already technically and with his runs and everything, but physically wasn't there. He's worked, you know, especially since he joined Mumbai City, he's worked on his physicality. And therefore, you know, Changte has become a, a different level of a player. And uh, uh, um, that's, that's a situation uh, that, that we are in. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Sorry. Oh, 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 what am I clicking? Oh, sorry. There. Uh, am I, am I, am I, sorry, I just, sorry, I just pressed a wrong button, uh, wrong button, one second, just give me a sec. Uh, let me check, let me check. Uh, okay, if, okay, if, where did I go, sorry. Orijit is asking in Bengali. Um, if I think that we've kept up um, the levels that Bengal football had in the 90s, um, it is for me um, I think we were better technically, but physically we were not there. Again, 80s and 90s, what did our team do at international level? You know, So to me, there's something Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Chetri Manvir BK Gupi can retire now. Depend time to disband this old team and sack puppet dummy coach. He goes too much. Again, with too much, I'm fine. I, I don't. I don't feel that you know we should we do, we should uh, sack uh, throw out everyone. I think you need a little bit of uh, balance of senior players and junior players in this team. I think going only with juniors, you can try. But the question is if these juniors will be there next year or not. Again, we're talking about consistency. You you tell me a name that you will say as a young Indian footballer, you would have said the last three years that name. There's rarely one. You know, two years ago, three years ago, we're talking about Roshan. You know, what, what was the performance of Roshan? So, so therefore, for me, a lot of these players is... Uh, uh, um, so that's it. Uh, Jigger says, move to Kafa, just like Afghanistan moved from SAF. Staying in SAF is meaningless. Um, Jigger, Afghanistan didn't move. Uh, the AFC did a realignment of the regional bodies. So it's not our decision. And let me, let me be clear on this. I think a lot of people say this again and again. It is not the decision of Indian football or the AIFF to say, you know what? I am leaving South Asia and I'm moving to Kafa, I don't know, ASEAN, you know, WAF or whatever. It is not our decision, you know? Um, uh, um, my parents are originally from Kolkata, so I'm, I'm born and brought up in Germany. Uh, Chetri Jingan, 
uh, Gupi need to be kicked out. Igna Brady, no chance for Vishal Ket. Yeah, let's see what he does. Uh, feels like current national players playing good from where the money comes. Shireen, that's maybe one of the problems, right? That that the, the money factor is a factor for these guys and uh, therefore, you know, more committed to club football. Deepak says, the reason I kept asking guys to chat with Delhi FC owner was to know if you're truly producing World Cup batch or uh, building castles in there. Now his defensive coach gives me my answer. That's the reason. Huh? That, that, that says you. Um, a Koro says, sir, only OCR solution. AFF should work on it while they are sleeping. It's not the AFF. On this one, I have to defend the AFF. The AFF has been trying on and off. I have myself have tried to help them. Uh, 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 um, you know, um, but the government didn't want to change. So therefore, on this one, I cannot blame the All India Football Federation for once. This is not a fault of the AFF. This is something, uh, 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 you know, that's that for me is, is something. Um, because says, even after taking the lead in the first half, guys didn't show any intention to score another goal. JK, you know what the problem was? I felt that goal came out of nowhere because Afghanistan was actually better in that second part of the first half. And we are not, we are not in a situation, we are not in, 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 in the momentum to try and build something and create something. My, that is my, my, my biggest concern at the moment, that this team can't, you know, even t- when, they take, when they took the lead, that they can move forward and say, you know what, let me try and do something. Or at least defend the goal. Block everything, last 20 minutes. Shut shop, do a Jose Mourinho, park the bus. Even that we couldn't do. And when we went behind, we had 10, nearly 10 minutes, 11 minutes still to play in extra time and at a time, and we couldn't do anything. Jigga says, we don't deserve to win any matches. If you place dummies like there, we'll still play like this and won't score goals or problems with our playing staff. I think we have problems at multiple levels. I wouldn't say playing style. I would say, for me, a right coach would be who's pragmatic, um, you know, uh, 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 who, who realizes the strengths and weaknesses of the team available or the best Indian players available. Let's put it this way. We can have a discussion who are the best Indian players. And on the other side, um, how are we um, putting this team together and how they're playing? So for me, practi- Stevens' practical football um, you know, that's 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 the thing. Uh, Ekoro 8 says, the only name that comes to my mind are OCI players. Good for you. Um, off topic, you, what do you do for a living? If you could answer. I work in, in football. So I um, work in, 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 in governance matters, consulting, uh, have worked, of course, in Indian football, um, had to set up uh, Mumbai City FC in 2014, worked in setting up Round Glass 20, 2017, 18, 19 as well. Um, have worked on projects for the AFC and for FIFA around the world. So yeah, that's my that's my work. If you want to know, Arhan wants to know. Arham, sorry, uh, wants to know uh, how do you how do you look future of Indian football in the coming decades? Um, if as long as we don't rectify a lot of things which are happening wrong at the moment, um, it's very difficult. Um, so for me, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, so. Um, that's that's something. Um, if we rectify things now, today, and do the right things, especially at grassroots and youth football, we will see the results in 10, 15, 20 years. Most probably 15, 20 years. If you if you would see that as a long term project. So if we if we let's say even have a project to 2050, you know, let's say that, or even 2047, the vision that they have had. But you have to do the things. I can't put a vision paper together good, you know, PR speak, all looks good. But what, how are you going to implement? How are you going to generate the revenue to be able to do that? Right? So that's, to me, is a question. Kinan Nengti, thank you for the heart. Uh, Origit says, even Sri Lanka, Brunei doing well. Then India, Brunei scored four goals against one or two, but were beaten 10 nil by Indonesia. Again, they're all trying. They're all trying. Um, and therefore, uh, Origit, they're trying to do your best. You know, that's the thing. Do you feel that the next generation of players like Vibhan Isaac said are technically superior than the previous generation like Subhash Shishpitam, etc.? Yes, then what's the reason for that? Um, Vibhan, Isaac are technically better, yes, but is 
I for the, let's say Isaac, I would try and compare with the Changte, you know, which is an earlier generation. Then I would still say the Changte is ahead of Isaac. Vibin also has the potential to me, but Vibin to me to become a national team player, and I've said that multiple times, even on the uh, uh, you know lives we've done with 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 and around the Blasters. Vibin to me is only an a player who can uh, become a regular senior level footballer if 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 you know there must be consistency and he plays regularly, right? And uh, you know he scored a brilliant goal uh, the other day against Monbagan, but there is something which I feel he still has to develop and has to has to get better. So that's that for me is another thing. Uh, 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 why ISL reserve team does not have match and need to restart an Indian arrow? The ISL reserve teams have matches. It's called Reliance Foundation Developmental League, uh, Development League. So there is a league, and yes, we need to restart the arrows. Uh, I would, I would certainly call for that. Um, in the ego, too much coaching. Indian football has no style of playing and very inconsistent. But when Stephen was there, a team was long ball style of playing and had results against lower teams. Um, yeah, the, to me, the question is. Again, Stephen was pragmatic. You know, Stephen wanted to get results. Uh, uh, um, you know, so therefore, that's it. Uh, the Pan says, I think Habas is the best coach for this national team. He brings discipline. Also, he can transform a team. Also, he has experience of coaching a national team. Your opinion? Um, yeah, Habas, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Igor, only a team was being in photo frame with Modric. Yeah, that's a nice statement. Sir, but Air Force can ask Nita, ma'am, owner of FSD, and can show how our civil rule national football. It's not a topic for uh, Mrs. Sambani to get involved in. So, therefore, it's no point of talking to her. Our ranking, our playing style, everything is mandatory by Igor Stimach. Yeah, we've done that in the past as well. So, therefore, you know, I've always said we're a 120 to 140, uh, 120 to 125 team. Driga says we won't score goals against 189 ranked teams. Teams ranked 106 has more quality than us. Teams like Papua New Guinea will defeat us now. Uh, you know, let's see. Deepak is saying, is he doing it for 100 goals? He's playing at least for 100 goals. If he's going to get it, I don't know. Driga is saying, we don't score goals. Reason is our defenders and defensive midfielders holding the ball at the back and playing our back passes. They waste precious time. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's. Uh, 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 but the point is, if you don't have options, if you're not clear of how you're going to play, then you're going to play the back, back pass because the back pass is your safe option, right? That's another another problem we have. Um, Rahul Rato says, can Indian players play in La Liga or Serie A? A big no. Nowhere near. Look at Jay Gupta. You know, a lot of people have been jumping up and down about him. Was playing fifth division in Spain. So, I think that hopefully answers here. Um, in coming decades, we should follow Uzbekistan model set A Koro 8. Again, we shouldn't follow any model. For me, we have to develop an Indian model, an Indian way of playing football, of, of, of doing things. I think that's the most important thing that we need to do in Indian football. Create our own way of football. Otherwise, we're going to get nowhere. And we have to find, as I always say, we're a subcontinent and we need to find local solutions in different states, different regions of India, which are suited to that. We have strikers like Bambi, incomplete. There's no spoiler, golden chances. Guy... Guy, think it's practice match. Again, that's your opinion, and, and I'm not going to argue with that. Um, there is no space for attacking wingers like Nanda in Igor's team at system. Only defensive midfield, defensive mid defensive minor players get national team call up. It's not true, you know, um, because on the other side you have uh, Vikram is there, Chante is there, Listin is there, uh, uh, Mahesh is there. Uh, you've got Brandon. You have had Sahal in the past. We've had. How to get national? Who controls national team selection now? How it dictates the pricing? I said player markets. Um, the the national coach decides. It's his decision. You know uh, what engine are paid to get the tag of national team? What salaries in place after national team? What are the shortcuts to get him in and stay in national team? Can worms Krilla triumph? Again, allegations um, which work sometimes don't work. Uh, 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 um, Steamer should join Bengal politics. Is actually behaving like Trinamool Congress leaders and acting like them. Yeah, uh, you remember the first goal we scored against Iraq last year. We can build up like that. What happened to us now? Confidence. And again, I think there are problems within the team. Uh, do we really need to change things from roots? If everything bad from top to bottom, what you will do if you have given the power to turn around things in Indian football? Well, again, you have to change things across the pyramid. We need changes at the top, but we need changes at the bottom as well. 
And the biggest problem is, biggest, biggest problem of Indian football are our coaches. They're not good enough. They think they're good enough. But ask Indian coaches, where, where, who has ever qua- uh, produced a world-class player? A world-class player? An Asian-level player? We've not produced any. And when we were good, that's another historical thing, 50s and 60s. Now even Bollywood is making movies on that. When we were good, the rest of Asia wasn't playing football. The world, a large part of the world wasn't playing football. We banked on the Asian Games and the Olympics. We did not... Uh, 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 um, you you uh, you didn't focus on the World Cup. That's our biggest problems which you did in the fifties, and that still hurts us. Uh, who are these three plus one players? Privy coach? Any hints? Uh, has been mentioned in the chat. If you want to, certain people have. Uh, uh, I can probably bet Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan can easily beat us. This had no brain courage against Afghanistan. Um, Uz- Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan would have beaten us anyway. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Kyrgyzstan can be a discussion, but these Central Asian sites, uh, 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 you know, that would be seen. Arjit says, South Nations, Bangladesh, and Nepal look most positive. Yes, they are trying to at least. Can AFF have re-election after new constituent introduce? Let's see, Akshay, what happens. Um, you know, why is that middle-class youngsters are not coming into football anymore? Nothing against players who choose football out of poverty instead of love for the game, but they rarely go to the top. Um, the problem is that there is this misconception you can't earn money in football. If you're good in football, you can earn, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know. So therefore, um, you know, that's 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 a thing, bro. I saw on Twitter people saying Apuya should be removed from the squad. I mean, he has been our most consistent players from Asian Cup, and this shows you how how much people know. To me, if if people are, again, Apuya has not played good, but any has anyone played good? People wanted certain players in. Those players have also failed. So it doesn't matter. You can change everyone. Change every player. Bring in a whole, whole new squad. If you, see, seriously, and don't take it personally, guys. If any one of you thinks, if you take the whole squad out, which is there, and bring in a whole new squad, and give them a little bit of time, that they're going to play better football, then you're not even in la-la land. You know, you are, I don't know where you are in what land. That is, you know, I mean, what? It's, 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 just, it's just insane what people are saying. Uh, even Ashik Kurun is spoken assistant. He said, growing up, he had other players better than him, but some of them made it and others couldn't. But that, Deepak, that is football. You know, some of the biggest players will say, you know, I played with certain players who are better than me, but they've not made it to that level. It's that's football. Again, it's not just Sunil Chetri or Bajan Bhutia were not the best footballers, but hard work got them to where they are. You know. Why are only ISL clubs good at pick is for national? Why is I League deprived forever despite having a proper system of promotion relegation? Trigger, one question. In our football system, and this is for everyone who, who's these IS, I League lovers, ISL is a League 1, ISL is a League 2. Right? Name me one player. One. In the I League or Santosh or whatever you want to take, who deserves to be in the national team. One player. And don't come with David and all that stuff. This is, this is not international level football. If the ISL players are not good enough to compete against 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th division players from Europe, do you think I-League players will be good enough to compete with international footballers? Guys, wake up. People are feeding you stories, feeding you a narrative. It's Sorry, it doesn't work for me. That is something that we need to wake up to. We have a quality problem. We have a pool of 50, 60 players, which is mainly from the ISL or all from the ISL. And even from the 50, 60, I would discard 20, 30 because I feel they're not good enough. That's the thing. I-League is not the standard of football, if your relegation and promotion is your main criteria, listen, in America, you don't have promotion and relegation. In Australia, you don't have promotion and relegation. Right? This, who feeds this BS day in, day out? These people are saying that, don't know anything about football. They should stop working in football, I'd say.
And we have too many people in Indian football who are clueless, who have taken us to this, who have bled Indian football into this terrible, terrible situation. And I get angry because of this, because there are people who have knowledge, who have understanding, who could transform Indian football in the right way for us to really go forward. This is really, really sorry to, to get angry about this, but it annoys me because this BS needs to stop. And especially the coaches talk about it. What I ask the coaches, produce better players first and then start talking. You are producing rubbish. You are producing rubbish footballers. The end product in the ISL, some coaches are trying to, you know, they, they say behind the scenes, we have problems. You're dependent on the foreigners. You saw in the Super Cup with six foreigners, whoever had six foreigners fit, it was better football. This is something we need to accept. You know? And that is something which we needs to be understood. <sighs> Sorry. Let me get a sip of water. Got a little angry here. And Rika, don't take it personally. It's just that I'm fed up of this. This is what people say. King Law says, we will have to make changes in coaching staff, AF committee, and also we'll have to remove some players. Great, but who's going to remove all of that? Where do we start? You know? So that's the thing. You know? He goes, too much just Asian Cup to play for World Cup qualifiers. He, he is pushing the goalpost every time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Every time. Just watch what he said. When he qualified for the Asian Cup, he says Asian Cup is the biggest. Well, well then it, every time it moves, it makes, makes no sense. If we start work on grassroots, it will take at least 15 years to see the result. But sadly, Indians don't have that amount of patience. What was says for a short-term fix? Arman, exactly. Biggest problem. In India, nobody's willing to work on a program which is, I'll say 25 years. In an Indian context, I can believe in a German or Japanese context, you can work on a 15-year plan and you'll be successful. In an Indian context, that project will have to be a 25-year project. And we're not willing to do. Huh? And that is something, something which is a problem. You know? Any team can defeat India because they know those two pits only play back passes to golf pin waste time. Meantime, opponents try to score goals and win matches. That's the difference. Yeah, that's that's at the moment. Think he can defeat Qatar easily. You know about player power in a team. Yes, RCB, I did. And I think it's not even if OCI are allowed. What nations do you think believe? Do you believe we can then compete with Asia within Asia? I think we can. If we if we start getting OCIs, um, we can we can compete with the Western Asia in 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 in, in a five to seven ten year period. I believe that. We have that potential and I think there will be better players of Indian origin coming up in Europe and in North America. You know, if I see, you know, some, the players and even you, Afghanistan to me is the perfect example. Lower level players who are even on a break with no club. Sharif at the moment has no club. He played last season at Churchill Brothers. He's still better than our players. Because at the end of the day, he's learned his... He used to play for Anji Mata in Russia. So, yeah. Um, it's a problem, you know. And that's something, uh, um, it's, it's a sad fact and it's, it's, been, um, it, it's been there for a while. Um, and it's not just senior players, but certain players in a certain gang, but that's a different story. Akshata, hi, Akshata. Um, if you want to join, let me know. Um, um, yeah, I can send you send you the link. Uh, the most important thing Indian football fans do right now is not to believe just everybody understand what's genuine, what's not. See who have personal agendas in. Actually, you could, I couldn't have said this better. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for saying this. This is this is what I have been tweeting in the last two days, right? That there are certain people of PRs and why are people supporting this? I'm trying to be as honest as I can. And I know certain people have called me up and said, hey, why are you being honest? Why are you telling the truth in regard to... I said, if I... Again, and we are still... This Pandora's box has not even opened. You know, yesterday, let's say you knew 2-3% of the problems. Today, you know 5% of the problem. So, it is still not in the open. Those who work in Indian football, I count myself in, we know a lot of things. I, but you have to live and work in the system. So, live and let live. So, therefore, for me, um, 
that that's the that's the that's the reality of where where we are and and uh, 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 um, you know uh, where 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 we where where are we going with things right so therefore this is something which is very very tricky in my opinion very very difficult uh, but again therefore uh, I just put this up with Akshay that said be clear and understand who is supporting whom also the articles from the journalists are coming out just think. Are they supporting someone? Are they hitting out at someone? Are they trying to destabilize the system? All questions that you should be asking. And should be, that's what, therefore, you know, simple, if I-League would have been better than Punjab should be in top four, but they're struggling, so no debate. I said still far better than I-League. Um, yes and no, because also on the other side, I will say the difference for Punjab is that they've brought in three top quality foreigners. And the foreigners decide of how good or how bad you are. Sadly, as it is, we have to accept any team in the ISL is as good or as bad as their foreigners are. Right? L look at Mohan Bagan without Johnny Kauko. Look at Mohan Bagan with Johnny Kauko. Look at Kerala Blasters with Adrian Luna. Look at Kerala Blasters without Adrian Luna. So to me, those are Serious fact, sadly, serious factors. You know, uh, as we say, there's no training session conducted, which was mentioned in the article. I think that the reason why there were training sessions, you know, this is again not everything that these people write is right. Um, Shovik says, I need Sack Igor, show cause Indian national team first, 11, ban AFF by FIFA. Well, um, show cause first 11, show cause whom? I mean, you know. <sighs> Oritro. Well, realistic, what's next for Indian football? 12 months, what's the realistic thing to happen? What do you think? Um, Oritro, um, I, I think um, there needs, first needs to be stability in the air. This whole mess and chaos needs to go. I think that's the most, for me, that's the most important thing around the Federation that there is stability uh, to take things forward. Because otherwise, if the AFF is such a nervous body, uh, 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 you know, um, we're not going to get anywhere. The AFF needs to have proper, proper, um, yeah, proper leadership. Again, I come back to that leadership, knowledge, governance knowledge is to me very important. King Law said, bro, fan funding, Leo. Uh, Lelo per coach ko hatao. Yeah, maybe that's the that's the way forward. Uh, Arman Singh, your views on Mr. Ranjit Bajaj was neither one who sowed the seeds for the current regime. On top of that, he still does not criticize Igor too much. I think that answers you some of it, but um, I will always say uh, Ranjit is very passionate about football. He wants to do good for football, but um, I'll be honest. Um, sometimes we don't agree about the way he has. He thinks that certain things are the way that needs to be done. Um, and I think differently, but you know, anyone who wants to do good for Indian football, good to have these people. But again, there are certain things um, like you know um, the COA stuff, which which I don't agree to, and which which has brought to us to this situation. So therefore, you know, exactly. Most other teams, banks, and foreign continue to make those uh, split second decisions. I was surprised to see non-league footballers in UK. They can walk in I League teams any day. Difference is huge. Said on a yeah. And some of them most probably can even walk into the ISL. That's the thing, right? If I ask friends of mine who, who, who've learned their basics right, you maybe played under 17, under 19 Bundesliga and are now 33, 34, they most probably could play ISL. That's the scary part. Drigger says, don't trust Igor Stamich's word. That guy is clueless coach. Don't know to play attacking football. Uh, uh, yeah, he was a defender, defensive-minded coach. That guy was trying to hang on to that one penalty goal, which shows his card as substitute. That's affecting other players too. Yeah. Uh, how can those standard players in ISL suddenly transform like they can't even make a proper pass? His quality is not good enough, but literally it's unbelievable. Depend, that's one of my problems. That's why I say Manvir is for me a prime example. Manvir, in the last few matches for India, has not been on the page. I'm shocked. But the last two matches, for example, for Mohan Bagan in the ISL, were amongst his best matches, most probably in his ISL career. So therefore, then you realize that there are problems within the team. That's that's a that's a factor. That's a huge issue out there. 
Even if we get OCR players, I don't think there will be any progress under Igor Stimach. RCB, again, um, Igor Stimach will not see OCR players coming into his team. Jigger says, Manvi Singer with missing goal opportunities have the team lose, waste 90 minutes. Yes, but again, he can, he can do, he can do it. In watching Indian football matches gives you depression and mental issues these days. That's how Indian football teams play on Igor Stimach. Well, um, so, great. Akshatha is joining. Well, it, Indian football is not always, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, in September, this football, this team almost beat Iraq. It proved Indian football has potential. Shobik, a friendly tournament. And I know friend, friendly matches, a lot of people will not take seriously. It's the competitive matches that count. I would like to see us, even in that form, play an Iraq. They would have still won. If it was if it was a real match in the World Cup qualifiers or Asian Cup, Iran still beats us 2-0, 3-0. So therefore, you know, that's the real world. We are playing just like a practice match. Look at them. Mistakes we're making. Fans became fools now. We got food every Indian fan. Yeah, that's that's what I said last year. Yeah, Don't get carried away. King Law said, we don't need too many OSAP players. We need four or five players. We have good players who can play a good game as in ISL. Under foreigners, our players are more confident. We need... One centre back, one uh, centre attacking midfielder, one uh, defensive midfielder, and one striker. I think that any OCI who's good and who's better is going to come in. You know, if if we if we really look, six, seven, eight come directly to my mind who are willing to play for us. I wouldn't put a put a number to it. And for our, for our players, the interesting part is the second we bring in OCI players to play for our national team. And we increase the standard of the competition, um, you know. Uh, then, then things things change. And look, Akshata joins me. Thank you very much, Akshata, for joining I in. Know. Sorry, I was a little bit of a of a rant mood at the time because I'm getting <laughs> fed up of certain comments and statements. Uh, coach's attitude reflects our, uh, on players. A coach who can use Asian Cup matches as practice matches. Yeah, that's that's was part of. And we've spoken a lot about this, Akshata. Right? I mean. I, I go back to your to your point, right? Is is, is and I've I've been trying to tweet about it over the last two days about you know PR exercises, you know trust your sources, um, um, read between the lines. Um, what's what's I mean? You always say you're 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 relatively new to this whole world, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's your your take on all of this? Thankfully, I think I'm a quick learner, so that 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 <laughs> comes to my advantage. <laughs> But I know you you know that I was also one of the, those believers, right? I used to tell you these things that Arun, I think it will work. You know, we'll get sponsors. Things will work out. Our team is improving, and you used to always give us those reality checks. But even I was among those people who didn't believe you initially. But you know, like now closely observing this for close to a, close to two years now, I've seen nothing changes. Nothing changes. I mean, there is. A, it is such a messy setup that. You don't even know where to start from, you know, and who is going to sort it out. People who are supposed to sack the coach, unka khud ka job is khatre mein abhi. <laughs> they don't know if they'll stay in the federation or not. Right? We don't know if the federation will stay or not if the court actually intervenes. See, the, the problem is it starts with the Supreme Court not knowing it's how, how you know, how, uh, you know, with all respect, due respect that how this, the system works, that the, the law of sports stands above the law of the land. I explained to the COA that two years ago and I got abused for that for certain people who think they knew better. But but I have to say, sorry, when it comes to governance matters, I think there are very few people in Indian football who understand football governance. And that's that's our biggest problem. It starts with that. And then stakeholders are trying to fight for their, their own battles. And and I, I, guys, I'm seeing your... your, 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 your um, comments, but again, I'll, I'll just divert a little into the conversation with Akshata. Um, that to me, the biggest problem is that we have to live in reality. And for me is at the moment, and it's not an Indian football phenomenon only, um, the world lives a lot on hype. Right? Um, you're a Liverpool fan, you see all the craziness around Klopp and all that kind of stuff. Um I take Germany as a good example. Last two matches won. Suddenly, Germany is going to win the Euros. Um, but I've always said that we are a good team. You know, if I, if I compare, it, just keeping it in the football world, I will not go into you know into politics or economy and you know uh, you know uh, what what people are doing, uh, conspiracies and this and that. But the problem is, 
and I've told you a few things, right? That out in the outside world, in Indian football, people still know. I've just said about five percent of what really happens, right? What is happening in there? How there are problems and issues which are not being taken care of. That things change, and that is my biggest problem when I come to talk. You know, uh, 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 you know. So therefore, it 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 doesn't it doesn't make a difference. Yes, and also, guys, we need to really not. believe in all the soap stories that we hear just because somebody is having a hard time does not mean they are right so we need to move on from that narrative that sometimes is tried to you know sold in this setup and and, and another problem for me is uh, what i see at the moment is is that again the narrative of when which story is being leaked you know you know it's like this whole thing about what something happened supposedly in the aff with some woman and all that stuff and you know and someone just said to me you know what most probably it's he thinks he knows which incident this is it's a it's a one year old incident and actually you know uh, nothing happened now it's coming out so again there are forces who are trying to destabilize the aff the aff has to blame itself for the situation is it uh but again and i say leadership governance are the key and also people fall everyone can have an opinion i don't have a problem with that but i my biggest problem is <clears throat> we have too many opinions nowadays but we have too few opinions which are really knowledgeable and to me you know guys don't take it personally to read about indian football you know and to to watch everything is not going to let you know what is really happening in indian football If you're not working in the system and talking to people on a regular basis, you will not know what is happening. You know why today people are shocked because that story about the national team comes out. We have hinted at it multiple times in our conversations. Hiran has done it, Shine has done it. I think they, those guys have even said it once in a while. You know, it's not. It's this is not something which has come out of the blue, right? But the point to me is also is that there is yes, that is a problem. but there aren't the 20 players who could come in and improve us and we can you know we can be top 8 in asia and you know play world cup no sahil no uh, sahil if he was there we would have won the game we would have by now like qualified would have been topping the table <laughs> that's that's my concern right so therefore uh, uh, you know uh, sanjay kamaka saying that uh, instead that alex sajji needs to play a season before national team call up do you think beke played better than him yeah beke is a better player than alex sajji period did he play better than him I don't know because Alex Sajji didn't play in that position. But if you've seen Alex Sajji play in the past in the I League, and I've commentated on matches in the I League, then you know Alex Sajji is not a national team player. So we can have that conversation, guys. If I know something, I will tell you. If I'm also at least honest, a lot of people say things, but they don't know things. I'll be at least honest. If I don't know, I don't know. Someone asked me yesterday if I watched Lebanon and Australia. I said no, I didn't watch it. I, I've not watched it, so I can't comment on it. You can ask me, but you know, if I have an opinion on it, no. I don't. I don't. I can't have an opinion how Lebanon played against Australia because I didn't watch it, right? Yeah. So therefore, for me, I what I talk about is either I have seen it myself with my own eyes, or I've heard it from people who I trust hundred percent. Because there are people who tell you stories where you know that it's not true, <laughs> you know. So therefore, um, I'm not saying the only positive things coming uh, to come out of this circus that the Indian fans. Have now evolved with time. Most of them are not buying the BS pedal, but these PR agents now. Yeah, biggest positive. But I think there are still a lot of PR agents around, um, and you're still buying some of the stuff. No, 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 no. I know, but I feel that that <laughs> even these PR agents, <laughs> they're so bad at their job. You know, like <laughs> that, 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 and this is their work apparently. <laughs> Yeah, but but again, it's 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 something um, I'm I'm worried, you know, that 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 it is more important. And I wrote it yesterday in a tweet, right? It's more important regarding your PR is more important than what yeah. actually happens on the field. Football is still played. Um, football is still played. Ninety minutes plus on a football field, and we're not talking about it. That is my real concern. Yeah, and if you do your job right, you won't need any of this PR. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mayan saying we have to wait till June for the next big thing in football. Let's see what happens next week. Yeah, Su- Supreme Court because if Supreme Court gets involved, we could get banned. Will Steamer be out in June? I don't know. You know, this is a good question. Uh, Nandan says what would need to improve our senior team performance apart from long-term goal under Steve. This team was much more ad- uh, so much agile. 
towards no, don't know what's happened all of a sudden all of a sudden um the, t- the team mostly stayed the same that also happened to some extent yes and to some extent no you know um you know so so you know so let's see what is it if any fans says about that was just an rpr stint i think they got an offer from malaysia to play two matches and send the team over i mean the team was yeah, the under 23s to have it would be good again not everything the ff has done in the last 18 months has been bad look at the iwl we are playing home and away format i think that's that's a good thing to have these under 23s is good but again you appoint a, a coach on a short term basis and he's actually an assistant coach in isl team we don't have an under 20 under 17 coach the women's team sorry we need a, you know we 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 downgraded to chanu from from thonas delhi so that all these things you know uh, uh, you know um yes group is among players you can either see otherwise why otherwise who would remove chankte and vikram and put manveer in instead second game at least vikram chankte a better touches than those two, two bought yeah i know but again it's it's a, co- a question you know um uh no at the moment i don't think so it it's the government is not even looking at it so therefore yeah. if it's mr jay shankar who is the who who is the person Sorry. in charge foreign minister of our country the last statement that i at least heard of it was that he's he said that the government understand that this is a concern but because of the security concerns this is not something that can be done that easily right so maybe the the government has considered it but aisa kuch bhi nahi hai that they are planning on it right and general elections ke baad also there would be other things that will be on priority not this exactly sure like i said yeah presently no under 17 under 20 coach kim lost on the iraq thing exactly it was a mix of an a and b team uh, this is how we play in a must win match even after taking a lead early we do not hold the ball back again we were not in a position to hold anything we we were not on the field that is our biggest problem that day i have a no question academies? Yeah. So you you can take this question and I can ask mine. No, no, please ask. <laughs> yes. So, so my question is that if hypothetically we are banned, will the ISL still be able to complete all the remaining matches? That's one. And yeah. what will happen to the to the uh, women football players who have uh, who are playing in other leagues? Will like will that be exist? No. 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 So there is no problem. The ISL runs. Foreigners can come in and go out. It is only if there is a league suspension. So this 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 AF ban means. and therefore also the league needs to be separate from the federation so that's another mm-hmm. good thing that we have in place which again a lot of people say is a problem right there are a lot of people who fight against the isl i would like to ask the counter question then um because i also was not initially a fan of the isl i tell you very truly but then you know i got involved certain things happened and i thought it was a good thing that started in 2014 has the i league or has the nfl in the past or even without that all these tournaments which has happened taken india to the world cup or anywhere close to the world cup or did it even get us to the asian cup the afc created the afc challenge cup for us to qualify for the asian cup in 2011 they created a back door for us you know um so therefore for me um we have to be very realistic One of us, why there's no academies in Westmore like those in Northeast and Kerala? How do they secure such funding? I've personally seen too many talents get wasted for lack of proper pathway. I think in Bengal you have certain academies. You have, for example, uh, Nawab and his and his people run uh, the academy which is linked to United Sports. Uh, you have the Bengal Football Academy and other things. Even um, La Liga, if I'm not wrong, are doing something. Yeah, but but those are those are pay to play and stuff, right? Okay. So, okay. So so those are a little different. um but the thing in bengal is that the focus is kolkata and the top 3 that is i think bengal's biggest problem um yeah shubham says no courage no passion for indian football team it's a problem you know it's a lost to um jigger says uh, in a country shameful day yeah i don't think guwahati was a mistake because i was there last time around that in guwahati you know guwahati against oman great atmosphere so therefore guwahati to me is not a play problem i used to play in high altitude stadiums they should have preferred how are the afghan players used to play in high altitude stadiums it's just because because we played them in aba these players play around the world they don't play in high altitude stadium you know that's another myth that a head coach put into your mind that you know these guys ha- he said they played they had a two month camp and 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 uh, ashley said you know what we had less time than than the indian team yeah afghan had four players 
uh, without a club. But again, they're training, right? So they're, they're not that bad. As a 35-year-old Indian phone, I've been getting reality checks after reality checks for the past 10 years. <laughs> Welcome to my club, uh, Sharhad. I've been getting reality checks. <laughs> Next month, it'll be 26 years officially working in football. Uh, I think 32 years, 32 years ago, I watched my first game, India, Iran, and Kolkata. Yeah, reality checks, right? Not, yeah. So, Deepak Das says, it would be an interesting story how 420 Gram reacts to a sensational piece of news because apparently they are friends with Captain Vita Legend. I think uh, uh, if you see their show, Renity and Mangi have mentioned a few points, right? And um, they've been, I think, very clear on these things. Mangi, even in the media, said them, I don't know, but I think there are problems in the dressing room. Mangi has said that. So, um, if you see, especially Arjun Pandit was very, very clear in, in greetings to the 420, uh, 420 grams team. Uh, Arjun was very hard hitting with his questions, very clear with his questions. So, yeah. you know, so therefore, I, do, I don't see a doubt. Again, they, they, on one side, there's friendship. On the other side, there are certain realities. And these but guys, Anwar, I think th this is one thing that, that I really appreciate amongst some of, some people, you know, even you are one of them, right? That you you know where to draw the line between your friendship and your work you're not afraid to criticize your friends and even your friends understand that it's okay you know your friendship won't at the end of the day get affected by it i i, I tell you a story i i tell you one story um once a, an indian national a senior okay. indian national team player i i criticized the team after a game uh, in a tweet and he came to me a few years later and said listen bro um you hit us hard with your tweet like, what? Which tweet? What tweet? I said, yeah, that after that match. And then we discussed that game. I said, yeah, this, these are these things and blah, blah. And he said, I know, I know. You're, 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 you're saying this that so we get better. So, you know, if you have that connection and that respect, then I say, yeah. you know what? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, and, and I'm fine. And, if, and I'll say that if the players do well, I'll say they do well. But I also say if the player is not ready to play for India, I will say that. Because I, I see a lot of names being thrown around who should be playing for India, who I, I personally at least do not think should be playing for India. Right? So therefore, um, yeah, that's the, that's, a, that's a problem. So therefore, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a reality. King Lost is saying, Sanayan player, yeah, Bijay Chetri is gone there. Uh, is it a PR stint? No, it's not. I, I spoke to the people who are behind it. Um, they, are, they generally want him to succeed over there. But again, it's up to the player to succeed. They, this is not a PR stint. Otherwise, he would have gone somewhere else with a big club who, who have a PR in there. Kolon FC doesn't have a, a PR agency behind them who wants to do stuff in India. because It's, it's Uruguay. It's so far away. Um, that It's not a PR. This is on football merit. And he has to prove... He's actually the number three centre-back in the team. So they expect him to perform if the first two don't do well. So they want him to settle in. Um, they're working on the visa formalities. So hopefully, we're there. They just had the first league match. So hopefully, this works. So again, if it if it doesn't, let's see. But I hope it. Does. How good is the league, Anwar, in global standards? Well, the second tier of of of, of Uruguay will be higher than 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 our ISL any day, right? And he's not even a regular in the ISL. He's shown talent. He was, uh, you know, he's a Shillong Lajong product. He's played at Chennai uh, Chennai City FC. Sorry. Uh, has now played also or was with Chennai and had an injury, didn't get chance, uh, uh, um, you know, and 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 that. Minas says in one of your last years, you said mentioned quality was an issue in Indian football, but the other day Afghan player quality was not good either. C team is it quality or the interest play for country? It doesn't matter if it's A, B, or C. The Afghan players are mainly playing around the world, so their basics are good, and that's what I think, you know. And then it becomes an issue of quality, you know. I, I jokingly said to some former player who's currently very, very fit that he could potentially walk into the Indian team because his football basics are better. He won't be able to run much, but again, even playing on a pin, he was probably, was probably better seeing the, the standard there. Yeah. Deepak feels the same on the, on the players. Uh, Arman says, one second, do you have 1% chance of defeating Kuwait in June? Please say yes. Arman, I say it's a 50-50, as I always say. Football starts at nil-nil. And football is a weird game. To me, it's a weird game. So, therefore, can India beat Afghanistan? Yes. Uh, so, sorry, can India beat Kuwait? Yes. Why not? But uh, at the moment, do I believe it? No, I don't. <laughs> if you ask me, I don't. But there are two and a half months. Let's see 
coach is still there at the moment. I think the news about this whole team thing will also have its effect. Let's see what happens. There's there's a lot going to be happening, I think, in the next two and a half months before that game takes place. So, therefore, you know, uh, um, that's it. Can't really blame the league. Serie A is one of the best leagues, but Italy still failed to qualify for the World Cup in the last edition, last two editions. Yeah, so they've not qualified for the last two World Cups for now. So that that's the point, right? This ISL bashing is something uh, which I at least don't buy into, to be very, very honest, guys, because I feel, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, that that I feel um, that that uh, you know ISL has brought certain improvements. I think if you look. At the quality of the stadiums, pre this season, I would have said most of maybe all stadiums. This season, uh, um, let's see what happens. The ground still is not in the state that I would like it to be. Some of the grounds looked a little bad this year. General infrastructure has become better. Someone like Akshata can can potentially go to stadiums nowadays, which I would have said 15 years ago would have been a problem. Um, if you look at the training, the travel, the stay, all of these things have improved. But there's a big but. And this is what I tell to my friends in the ISL. One thing hasn't improved. The quality on the field. At least of the Indian players. And that is hurting us. Because I said 10 years ago in meetings, we can spend marketing money. Forget. In India, we love to spend marketing money. But as long as the quality is not good, and as long as we don't improve our national team, people will not come. And we are exactly at that situation. I don't want to be always right. And in a lot of points, <laughs> I am sadly right. But I said that 10 years ago. If As long as we do not improve the quality of our Indian players, it will not happen. Yeah? So therefore, that's a, that's a big big problem for us. And I know I think somewhere over here, you know, I just feel that maybe people don't, don't understand, people who are running the league or running the federation do not understand that the fans understand the sport. They understand quality. If you bring quality to the pitch, they will come and watch. It's not that... You know, because these are the same fans who are supporting for European clubs, right? And they have been following in a lot of them who have been following in football, they can see where we are tactically going wrong. So so we need to stop assuming that the fans do not know things. Fans know a lot better than a lot of people who are there, right? Some fans side, at yes, least. Some fans do and some some think they do and some others don't. Yeah, so yeah. I mean like, at least good every, some fans. Every, every, yeah, everywhere yeah. else, right? That's that's part of the problem. Uh, Mayan says, who will be the next year for president? Good question. Uh, next question. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, Kuwait, bro, Kuwait ko hum agar kisi taras hara bhi denge to bhi kuch kini hai. It's football. Agar hamara din hua, to hum France ko bhi hara de par iska matlab nahi hai. Hum ko France se uh, badaya ho gaye. Yeah, that's the point, right? We're not better than France or whatever. It's it's about on, on a match day, right? On a Saudi Arabia beat Afghanistan, right? So uh, sorry, Saudi Arabia beat Argentina. Sorry, they also beat Afghanistan, right. but they also beat Argentina. So that, so therefore, these things happen in football. So surprises are possible. Out of curiosity, Vijay Chetri, a player who isn't even a, a, a part of regular start of ISL a league of way too lower standard, how is he scouted by a club in Uruguay, second division club? They got a few CVs, they had a few videos, they looked at certain players, and the club then said, you know, this is the guy we think we can work on. So it doesn't mean that the best are playing in the ISL or the best are playing in whatever other league. There might be players with the talent, and again, the scouts see something different. Uh, what are eligible to doing coaching license in India? As such, you have to be between 18 and 35 to be able to do a D license, and then they have certain criteria. Just take D license and be able to find, or E license is the lower one. Among the current couple of coaches, I have high respect for Thang Boy. He makes the team play good within the players' limitations. This kind of coaches are drastic. Yeah, exactly. Thang Boy is one of those who can do. You should start different saying when you only talk positives in Indian football right now. <laughs> Arman, uh, very difficult because uh, I, I don't I love to. Um, Akshata, I think, loves that too. But we, we live sadly in the real world. Where are the positives? Where I yeah. mean, I understand that we can find some. But right now, where are the positives? Apart from one or two or three. I don't know. Right, let's let's not even go into the positives, right? I don't see them at the moment. Uh, Arnav says, "What coaching lessons do you think should be minimum for grass? Is it D or C or good? Uh, good at all? You need to start with the E nowadays, then go to the D and to the C. And if you have a C and work on it, uh, uh, you know. So therefore, for me, um, yeah, that's that's 
that's the way to go and and learn 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 you know watch football watch football learn football that's the only way forward on a lighter note we should go for the same mob just what cricket fans do to players after performance the world cups no and charles says it no 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 i think mob justice is is the wrong way to go forward um it's you can criticize you know i think uh some people told me yeah, the the protest day before yesterday was too harsh against the indian players um and uh and the coach i said no they just chanted there was no physicality involved yeah. chant- that's why therefore phys- if you get physical wrong don't even try and get to that but if you are chanting doing that i'm fine with that i hope we register the players good and comes to national team we do need a better center backs who are good with ball and can pass not like jingan baker who are six hitters yeah let's see what happens there's a popular show in india called the boys it's a show about superheroes who people think good but they are not in, in reality today senior players looked at that it's not just senior players i'm disappointed with all the players because again nobody has sent out an excuse or anything you know just just an excuse i know you're going to get inundated for putting out an excuse but i thought someone or the other would do that i'm disappointed no, with that all the players have taken the ownership no i know i mean even yeah. from sunil's perspective i mean I, and it's not that other players or cricketers have not taken in, taken responsibility in the past or other yeah, footballers I mean, across the I world mean, i mean the point is with sunil is i think sunil has had a, a lot of negative things over the last uh, year so to say uh, since that whole kerala blasters game like last february um but again yeah, yeah but just be. just a simple tweet saying that you know i'm we are really sorry that we disappointed the entire you don't have to say a lot just maybe just one sorry and that we'll come back stronger in june hmm. yeah i i would have loved it but he hasn't done it no um i like how indian football just keeps giving content every day yes <laughs> it's, yes. It's, it's yeah yes. It's, that's what i'm saying that's why you know, these these things there are people now planting a story every day to to keep this chaos so to say going that's why you know that's why why did i give it the headline today is is today's indian football only about chaos and i feel it is because people are on purpose doing creating chaos right uh, so you know that's why that's why it's very simple uh could you talk about the rise of indonesian football and how india can learn from them because just 5 6 months back they were no one here simple players of origin uh mr uh, to here who used to be uh, the owner of inter milan who's now the sports minister of of indonesia one of the richest men of the country has been able to convince a lot of indonesian origin boys to play for indonesia um indonesia has a number of especially with the dutch because you know um uh, the dutch used to be the colonial rulers of indonesia uh um and therefore uh um that therefore he has been able to convince the players and therefore <laughs> both indonesia is a much better much better team i hope uh, steamach resigns says arnab if there's a negative result with kuwait with security issue to control that money supporters for police i feel that i would be interested to see if they have to stick to their plans to play that match in kolkata or shift it to bhuvaneshwar i'm really interested to see if that happens because there is a risk to that there is a risk i in kolkata if if you know and 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 there are a lot of people who now support the team india if they come and it doesn't go the way there could be riots and there is like to that he doesn't look like he will resign so that's there no 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 he's not resigning no no it's not he's resigning. not resigning uh shahid said no statement from players i'm stated that the biggest negative we have only handful of fans and we can take it for granted that chart that's a that's my biggest concern right that's what we realize we've been doing these these shows you know with together with rahul with hiren akshata is there shine is there and we have all you guys thank you for for following us right but we've not exponentially grown that community that suddenly 10000 people are following and you know we have these huge discussion and these huge panels and you know suddenly you know national television wants to follow what we what we're talking about it's not happened and that's my that's my biggest fear that you know we're doing these and and again not only me but but all of us are trying to do it trying to do it um akshata is drifting a little away she's been doing a little bit more liverpool than, than more indian football so if there's a point of critique uh, no 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 i'm here right now <laughs> so no jokes apart uh, uh um you know and and you know and and you know, so 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 that's the thing king lost saying why mumbai city don't send their players on loan to sister clubs i mean a, a player can play in mls a league or even cl csl uh, csl true but if you remember uh, apuya went to a uh, lomel in belgium for a two week training and returned uh, 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 you know so therefore um, they've tried um, 
So therefore, yeah, that's. He that's, returned. That's why? Uh, was why? You can Sorry? tell us why did he come back? He was just on a training stint. Again, Mumbai Achha. City wants the player. Mumbai City also wants the, to win the league, right? So um, they're not there to do ch charity to Indian football. Let's be honest mm. about that. Indian, they want to develop the talent, but you cannot be sending saying this. You know what? On my my pay, you go abroad and let's see what happens. It's not going to happen. Uh, Chris saying Indonesia has got Justin Huber, who just two months was playing for Wolves. Exactly. Why ever AFF didn't do a background check before firing too much questions were warning us about him. There are different reasons, uh, uh, you know, uh, for for him coming in. So that's that's another Pandora's box that maybe one day will be opened. So Kea, yeah, he goes too much excuse, too much Sakoga, any hope for sacking? At the moment, no, I don't see I don't see that happening. So so guys, guys, you have to so understand that people who are running the federation, unka khud ka job is at stake right now. So yeah. they are but more worried about that rather than sacking Steemaj. That's a problem. It's, it's a huge problem at the moment. So therefore, uh, that's it, guys. Um, I actually have to head for uh, a football game. Uh, just take Munal's point just as the last one. Also, if neither of them, I hope the government revokes the law that bad. Also, from the Indian national It has uh, stopped us representing India in tennis. In it, football, it has never been allowed. So let's, you know. Uh, uh, Tennis you know, squash also. Squash, I mean, uh, yeah. Some other, yeah. yeah, squash also, but tennis was the big one with Prakash Amirraj and the Uberoi sisters with playing for India in 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 in, in the Davis Cup and, and and other competitions. So therefore, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, you know, uh, guys, um, I, I uh, you know, uh, thanks a lot again. Um, I have to head to a football game in forty five minutes here in Germany, so uh, it's a derby, so I have to get ready. Uh, and it's cold outside. Um, so we'll be back. Um, and um, Anup, uh, I live in the West, just to say that, in, in a small town called Kamshad. Um, thanks a lot for joining in. Um, as always, it was fun. Akshata, thank you. Short notice. Thank you, you so much. Um, always she's always welcome. I hope, guys, no? she's always welcome, uh, <laughs> at least uh, on, 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 on my channel, our discussions. Um, and we're keeping having these discussions. Um, let's see if we can do that. I won't be able to do it tomorrow. Maybe over the Easter weekend, uh, we can do something. But um, as always, uh, Indian football doesn't um, disappoint. Akshita, if you want to plug your new channel, that's your chance now. <laughs> Guys, you can support me at uh, Seeded Sports. Uh, it's a new, new channel that I'm trying to build. So, Seeded Sports. I'll, 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 put, it, I'll put it in yeah. into the, the text and then... Uh, you guys can can follow her as well and see her uh, nice content, um, good content as always. Uh, thank um, you, and um, yeah, and and always support you and thank you for your support. And guys, as always, yeah, the most tough one: uh, like, share, uh, subscribe, support, do whatever you can. Please spread the news. Uh, I'm trying to get to 1K. Uh, you know, small small aims at the moment. Uh, Akshata as well is get, trying to want to get to one day. So therefore support our channels and uh, we'll be back very, very soon. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank and you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.